Hello everyone, my name is Karan Masu. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem that is remove all duplicates from a given string. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given a string str which may contain lowercase and uppercase characters. The task is to remove all duplicate characters from the string and find the resultant string. The order of the remaining characters in the output should be same as the original string. So basically what we want to do is we want to remove the duplicate. So for example, if a character is coming for five times, we will remove the four times when it is getting repeated, when it is getting duplicated and we will only contain its first copy. Okay. So we will only contain its one copy and which copy will be that? That will be the first copy starting from the leftmost index. Are you getting my point? And the order of those characters must be same. So for example, if I have string A, A, B, B, then one A and one B are uh, repeating. So we will remove one A and one B. So in the final string, we will have A and B. But we will write it as A and B, not as B and A. Because in the original string, it is A, A, B, B. Okay. So if we look at the example, for example, we will look at this example in detail. Uh, this is the second example. Complete the function remove duplicates which takes a string as input parameters and returns a string denoting the answer. You don't have to print answer or take inputs. The expected time complexity and expected auxiliary space are big of n. So now if you think about solving this problem, then basically see we will be given a string uh, in which there will be lowercase and uppercase English characters and we need to remove duplicates from that string. Uh, so if a character has been repeated five times, then we will only maintain its first occurrence copy in the uh, original string. We will maintain it in the answer and the remaining duplicates we will remove. Okay. So for example, if this is my original string, then my answer string will be what? C, uh, G, I will start moving from left to right because I want to maintain the first copy of all characters. So I will start from left. So I will take G, then I will take small e, then I will take capital E, then I will take K, then I will take S, then I will take F, then I will take O, then I will take R. Now I will take capital G because that is also not repeated. Now capital E we already got. So we will not write it. Now small e also we already got. So we will not write it. Now K also we got. We will not write it. And S also we got. So we will not write it. So for this uh, string as the input, this will be our output. There are no duplicates in this. All the unique characters are present in it. Okay. Now. How can we solve this question? So one of the ways could be whenever you are thinking to insert the ith element in the answer string, you traverse the whole answer string generated till now and see whether that character has already been taken or not. If taken, you do not take it because you want to remove the duplicates. If not taken, then you take it. Okay, but this will go in n square time complexity and we need to think of something more efficient. So what we can do here is you see here they have said that in the input we have lowercase and uppercase English characters. So what I can basically do is, so basically what I want to do is whenever I add a character to my answer, I want to mark it as visited or mark it as present that it has already occurred in the answer string so that I do not repeat it. Okay. And I want to efficiently find whether this character is already taken or not. So I will take two arrays of size 26, C1 of 26 and C2 of 26. C stands for basically count where C1 of 0 will denote the occurrence of small a in my answer string. C1 of 1 will denote the count occurrence of small b in my answer string. C1 of 2 will denote the occurrence of small c in my answer string and so on. C1 of 25 will denote the occurrence of small z in my answer string. Similarly, C2 of 0 will denote the occurrence of capital A in my answer string. C2 of 1 will denote the occurrence of capital B in my answer string. C2 of 2 will denote the occurrence of capital C in my answer string and so on. C2 of 25 will denote the occurrence of capital Z in my answer string. So I will take these two arrays C1 of 26 and C2 of 26 initialize all the values as 0 and then traverse the original string. And then with respect to that character, I'll check the index whether its count is 0 or 1. If it is 0, it has not been included in the answer. I will include that character in the answer and make its count 1. 
if that count is already one it means it is already taken once in the answer string i will not take it just neglect it and move on to the next character okay so that would be our approach and that will give us only the unique characters and remove the duplicates now let's look at its actual implementation so now if we look at the actual implementations i have taken one answer string which is initially empty i have taken one i as the iterator n as the length of the string i have taken two array c1 and c2 of 26 initialized all of them as zero i have taken n as the length of the string then i have traversed the string now first of all i need to check whether it is a lowercase character or uppercase character because depending upon that i will check the respective details in c1 or c2 so uh, the ascii value of capital a to capital z is 65 to 90 and the ascii value of small a to small z is 97 to 122 so if the value of the character is greater than equal to 97 it will obviously be in the small character if it is uh, not greater than equal to 97 it will be a uppercase character so if the value is greater than equal to 97 it is a smaller case character so i will check in c1 array if in c1 this character value is zero it means it has not been included in the answer so i will take it into the answer and i will make its count as one otherwise we will just neglect it similarly if it is a uppercase character i will check its count in c2 array and i will add that character to my answer and make its count as one if it has not occurred before and finally i will return my answer string what will be the time complexity it would be big o of n because we are traversing the string and what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space will also be equal to big O of n in worst case because the string can contain all the characters of the original string. Okay. I hope you understood it. Now let's submit it. Okay. So let's submit this code. Okay. So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you understood this solution completely. Thank you.